Ever heard of the name Ed Parker, wondering why he's so significant in the world of martial arts? Well, let's pull back the curtain on this martial arts maestro. Ed Parker, an influential figure who left an indelible mark on the canvas of martial arts, was the founder of American Kenpo. This wasn't just any martial art, it was a revolution. A perfect blend of traditional techniques adapted for a modern world. Parker was not just an innovator, he was a trendsetter, a celebrity instructor who taught the art of Kenpo Karate to icons like Elvis Presley, Chuck Norris, and Steve McQueen. This helped catapult Kenpo Karate into the limelight, making it a household name. Beyond that, Parker's vision of Kenpo as a flexible and adaptable martial art led to the birth of many unique styles, each a testament to his genius. So, let's delve into the life of this martial arts maestro and explore his journey. Born in Hawaii in 1931, Parker's journey into martial arts began quite early. As a young boy Parker found himself captivated by the ancient art of combat, a fascination that was nurtured by the vibrant martial arts culture of his home island. It was there, amidst the rhythmic ebb and flow of the Pacific that he took his first step into the world of martial arts. His initial training was in Judo, a discipline that laid the foundation for his future endeavors. Practicing diligently, he honed his skills and developed a deep understanding of martial arts principles. This early training not only shaped his physical prowess but also instilled a profound sense of discipline that would guide him throughout his life. As he grew older, his interest in martial arts expanded, leading him to explore other disciplines like boxing and wrestling. Each new experience enriched his understanding, broadening his perspective on the martial arts world. The seeds of a martial arts legend were sown, and they would soon bear fruit. Parker's training was as diverse as it was intense, leading to the creation of something truly unique. Ed Parker was not a man to do things by halves. From a young age he immersed himself in the world of martial arts, training rigorously in a range of disciplines. He studied boxing, judo and traditional Hawaiian martial arts, but it was his time spent under the tutelage of William K. S. Chow in the art of Kenpo that would shape his future. Chow was a master of Kenpo, a martial art that blended Chinese Kung Fu with Hawaiian fighting techniques. Under Chow's guidance, Parker honed his skills, absorbing the fluid movements and rapid-fire strikes that were the hallmarks of Kenpo. Yet, Parker was not content to simply follow. He had a vision, a desire to adapt and evolve the martial arts to meet the needs of a rapidly changing world. When Parker moved to the mainland United States he brought his martial arts knowledge with him. He set up his first Kenpo school in Provo, Utah, in 1954. It was here that he began to refine and adapt the Kenpo techniques he had learned, blending them with principles from other martial arts and his own innovative ideas. He called his new system American Kenpo, a martial art that was as much about mental strategy as physical prowess. American Kenpo was designed to be adaptable, allowing practitioners to modify techniques to suit their own strengths and weaknesses. It was about practicality, about understanding the underlying principles of combat and applying them in a real-world context. Parker's American Kenpo was a fusion of tradition and innovation. It honored the ancient origins of martial arts while embracing the need for modern practical self-defense techniques. With American Kenpo, Parker had created a martial art that was both traditional and modern, and uniquely American. Parker's influence extended far beyond the dojo, leaving a lasting impact on the martial arts world. Ed Parker's impact on martial arts goes beyond his creation of American Kenpo. He was a bridge between the traditional martial arts of the East and the evolving martial arts scene in the West. He demonstrated that traditional methods could be adapted to modern contexts, paving the way for the rise of mixed martial arts. Parker's celebrity students added to his influence. He taught Kenpo Karate to luminaries like Elvis Presley, Chuck Norris and Steve McQueen. Through these famous personalities Kenpo Karate reached a wider audience, becoming a household name. Each high kick and swift punch on the silver screen carried the essence of Parker's teachings, spreading the allure of Kenpo to millions. But Parker's vision was not confined to Hollywood. He wanted to make martial arts accessible to everyone, regardless of their physical abilities or backgrounds. He opened Kenpo schools across America, spreading his innovative martial art far and wide. His approach to teaching was inclusive and adaptive, focusing on the potential within each individual rather than a rigid standard of physical prowess. This led to the growth of various branches of American Kenpo, each with its unique style, reflecting the flexibility and adaptability of Parker's martial art. Parker's influence also extended to the business side of martial arts. 
he was instrumental in promoting martial arts as a profitable and respectable profession. His international karate championships became a benchmark for martial arts competitions worldwide, attracting top talent and setting high standards. Ed Parker's influence is still felt today, in every dojo that practices American Kenpo, in every martial arts competition, and in the spirit of inclusivity that is now a staple in martial arts teaching. His vision of a martial art that is adaptable, inclusive and deeply rooted in tradition continues to inspire martial artists around the globe. Ed Parker's legacy lives on, continuing to inspire and shape the world of martial arts. Ed Parker was more than just a martial artist, he was a pioneer, an innovator and an inspiration. We've journeyed through his life from his early days in Hawaii where he first discovered his love for martial arts, to his rigorous training, culminating in the birth of American Kenpo. A style designed to adapt and evolve, reflecting Parker's own philosophy of constant growth and learning. Parker's influence soared beyond the dojo, touching the lives of celebrities like Elvis Presley, Chuck Norris and Steve McQueen, further cementing Kenpo's place in popular culture. His legacy lives on in the countless martial artists he inspired and the diverse branches of American Kenpo that flourish today. Parker's life is a story of passion matched with dedication, a journey of innovation that revolutionized martial arts. His influence, like his spirit, remains ever dynamic, inspiring generations of martial artists. From his humble beginnings in Hawaii to his impact on the global stage, Ed Parker's journey is a testament to the power of passion, dedication, and innovation.